Hello to all the participants uh, to the fourth edition of the International Clinical Engineering and Health Technology Management Congress. Uh, my name is Stefano Bergamasco and I'm a clinical engineer uh, based in Italy. I'm a member of the Italian Clinical Engineers Association. Uh, I'm secretary of the Clinical Engineering Division of IFMB and uh, one of the founding members of the Global Clinical Engineering Alliance. It's a pleasure and an honor to have the opportunity to present uh, one of uh, our recent works uh, here at the Congress uh, to the global community of, of clinical engineers. I will now start sharing my screen to share with you my slides and start presenting this work. So let's share the screen. And there we are. So I will present a work about remote clinical engineering professional training when in-person courses are not feasible. This work that is based on the topic of professional education has been developed with a team of colleagues that are Roberto Belliato and Ilaria Sirotic, both from the Italian Clinical Engineers Association and colleagues of my company, MedTech Projects, and Antonella Pianosi from our association, and also responsible for clinical engineering at Azure that is a regional uh, network of public hospitals uh, here in Italy. So what is the, has been this project and the results of this project all about? Uh, we know that training and continuous education are very important topics for clinical engineers, especially when there are new elements in uh, regulations or safety of uh, medical dev devices, technology advances, and, and so on. So uh, training is very, very important for our profession. And during last year, in 2020, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, having uh, opportunities for uh, in-person training has been really challenging. We had a lockdown, we had uh, several uh, restrictions to travel and uh, gathering together. So it was really a problem to have the opportunity for uh, usual training courses. Uh, therefore, uh, training was, was a challenge. One of the things that we did was level on the new technologies that all of us got used to during the, these difficult uh, couple of years, uh, online connections and remote working, to try and deliver a, a training course of this kind, and quite a complex training course. That's the reason why I'm describing it to you today, because it was quite challenging to organize this kind of training course, and I think that the results uh, have been very good and could be a, a model for others to, to follow. So. The goal of this project was to um, organize a training course on the a new medical device regulation that came into force in Europe in 2017, but is now fully applicable since uh, a, few, a few months. So all clinical engineers need to be trained about this new regulation. And uh, Azure Market, this network of public hospitals, wanted their clinical engineers, 19 clinical engineers in different hospitals, to have the opportunity to get training on this topic. So we uh, were asked to, uh, to organize a 24-hour course uh, divided in six sessions, one session per week, uh, covering many topics of the new medical device regulation. So we uh, created a Moodle e-learning platform and we used Zoom uh, in order to deliver live, live sessions. And I will go now into some uh, details of the tools that we used and the kind of results that we were able to, to achieve. So first of all, here is just a, a screenshot of the program of this training course. So as you can somehow see from this slide, there were six sessions, one session per week every Wednesday morning, four hours, with all the participants to the training course connected from their own office and live with the teachers of this, of this course. There was time for questions and answers, both at the beginning of each session, covering some issues regarding the previous session, and at the end of, of each session. 
Uh, we collected before the beginning of the course all the names and email addresses of the 19 participants and we created a username and password on our uh, e-learning platform for these, uh, for these participants in order to give them a broader experience uh, than just the uh, live streaming of the, of the sessions. What, uh, what was possible to achieve? All the sessions were live recorded, so there was a lot of interaction with the participants that were connected on Zoom. And after the training course, we could publish the live sessions recordings in a password protected Vimeo account for future review. All the contents were published in our e-learning platform that the participants could access through their unique username and, uh, and password. And for each of the six sessions, we published the PDF of the slides used for the training course, a link to the video streaming, additional materials, so PDF with additional material, and an online test that could be done uh, autonomously by the participants and with the platform providing the scoring in an automatic, in an automatic uh, way. In this way, at the end of the six sessions, we could deliver a certificate of attendance to each participant after the completion of the final, of the final online, online test. The results. Uh, this course proved very, very effective. Uh, we had uh, very much uh, positive uh, feedback and persons could follow the course uh, with the minimal disruptions to their working routine. Everyone was connected from their own office and this didn't impact their daily activities uh, in the hospital. So minimizing the need for traveling, accommodation and all these things that were in any case impossible due to, to the COVID-19 emergency. We submitting a final questionnaire to the participants uh, asking uh, feedback about the quality of the course and the quality of the online organization. And these two parameters scored 5 of 5 and 4.9 out of 5. So the feedback was really, really very good. This has been a nice opportunity to collaborate with the network of hospitals, to deliver training courses in a difficult period, and this uh, proved uh, a model. And this is something that with the Global Clinical Engineering Alliance, we are also experiencing uh, as a, a training model for the global community of clinical engineers, uh, setting up a full program of training courses, webinars, and online opportunities. So I really uh, appreciate the opportunity for this uh, being part of this Congress this year. I thank you very much for the attention and I wish to all the participants uh, all the best and a great experience in this Congress. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm now stopping sharing the, the, the screen and uh, I take the opportunity to say hello to everyone. Thank you.